yeah what's up guys welcome back to my channel this is kinsa first to the right here and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to cast spike live here in this trade okay so it is it's not something you is not back testing it's not uh like in fact this is also a real account you should see okay uh because of people who always complain is this a real account or demo or that you know <laughs> so I'm going to be placing a trade now because I want to wait for the spike to come, okay? I want to wait for the spike to come. I don't want to miss out. That is exactly the reason why I'm going to be placing this trade. So because of this video, because of the accounts, and also to help you understand how to manage accounts well, I'm going to be using a very small loss size, 0.3, okay? So that's for this. Remember, this is still a real account, okay? This is a real account, guys. All right, so this strategy works for even if you don't even know how to check trend okay remember it's always important to know the trend okay it's going to help you a lot but this one whether you know how to check the trend whether you know where the price is trending to or not you can take this strategy okay you can take this strategy so um this um uh if you look here for just for me to show for clarity purposes if you check here you can see we have a downtrend okay the price is trending to the downside uh using the higher time frame you can see the price is trending down so we are not supposed to be catching spikes right good we are not supposed to be catching spikes but that's exactly why i want to use this one to show you that even if you are trading against spike if the trend is down and you want to catch spikes on boom okay you are still going to succeed Okay, that's why I have to look for a strategy that will help those who cannot actually identify a good trend to know when the price is trending to the downside or to the uh, uh, upside, okay, for you to take a trade. Remember, if you want to take a trade on boom, if you want to cast spikes on boom, you should always make sure that the price is trending up, right? That's what I've been preaching. That's what I've been saying here in this channel. If you also want to cast spikes on uh, crash, you should make sure that the price is trending down, right? Okay, but this one... Whether the price is trending down or is trending up, just set up your indicators and you are good to go. Okay? So, now look at the point the spike should be coming. Okay? Now, I'm supposed to wait, okay, for this price, for this my line, my black line, to also hit level 20 or between level 20 and 10. Okay? But because I know I'm going to be explaining and showing you the setup, so before then, the spike is going to come. Okay? So, um remember this is still a life account <laughs> okay so first how do we take this strategy you just have to wait okay just have to wait for these three lines okay these are uh, lines here these three lines you want to wait for them to come between level 20 and 10 you want to see them there between level 20 and 10 before you take any trade before you buy okay if you are buying on uh, maybe crash or boom any of them if you are buying or you are selling always make sure that these three lines are there between level 20 okay and level 10 so once it's there you buy that's the condition as simple as that if the price converge between level let me see a good example here um this one is very close but yeah it, it, it not actually entered there okay this one is very close okay so but i needed to look for something a good for a selling opportunity uh, we still have it right here okay we still have it right here something like this once the price is here between level 80 and 90 you sell i don't want to know the trend i don't want to know um the um whether it's boom or crash or volatility anything just once these lines, all of them are between level 90 and 80, you sell. If they are down like this one, okay, it's not actually uh, there yet, okay, but because of the video, I have to enter the trade. So it's not actually there. Once the black line push into that level again, you are going to be buying, okay? That's the two ways to do this. So let's just check what's have been happening. No, I don't like all this going back and to check all those things. I just want to see it happened this way i just want to see it happen as i'm showing you okay so all i need to do now is for us to wait for these things to come uh i'm going to be showing you the setups okay remember why i don't actually back test is because what happens with indicators is that when the price 
keep moving the indicators keep resetting and shifting so when you come back you might see this and you say wow this is perfect but when on a live chart you are going to be seeing a different thing that's why you must make sure that any indicator you are seeing with back test you can see we had the spike we had the spike guys it's not a joke it's not a joke so any indicator you are back testing yeah, okay always make sure you check it on on a live chart okay make sure that you check it when the, the when you maybe use your demo to check it don't just back test indicators this way because indicators can is deceptive most time okay if you start back testing with indicators it's deceptive so you have to pay close attention that's why whenever i'm giving you any strategy i try doing it live on a live chart so that you see how those things work okay it's not like uh, um, back testing and showing you things that, that have been happening okay i show you what is playing out and it will play out okay do remember this thing is not like 100 percent something but you have to be confident in what you are doing you have to be, the confidence is built by you know back testing trying out this thing several times okay like in a live chart trading it every time you know trying to check, make sure that this thing actually works okay remember it's still a live account so that's that okay let me show you the setups guys now um the first thing i'm going to be using only, uh, only window one okay the first indicator here is moving average 50 you can screenshot this okay you can just take a screenshot of this um then uh after this the next one we are going to be checking for those who actually let me just uh, uh you know say it out the settings is period 50 uh shift zero uh method simple apply to close okay then start results okay that's the settings then envelope that's the another indicator i have here but remember this is the first one i add i added stochastic okay so you uh, let me start from stochastic this is the setup that's the first indicator you are going to add okay okay so when you add stochastic then the next one you are going to be adding is uh envelope you can see the settings screenshot this in order not to waste much time on this video so you have the envelope okay the next one is moving average okay you can see my moving average setup so this is just as simple as abc the setup is simple the strategy is simple the entry is simple okay so that's how you enter this trade you can go on and on and on to check out uh, uh how these things work okay this is boom uh 300 you can see what happened here you can see what happened here so most time, if you don't want to be patient enough, you can enter the way I end. You might not actually wait for all of them to be there. You all, one of them might be outside, but very clo cl close, very, very close. So if you see it close, you can still take a trade, okay? So you can see what happened uh, right here, okay? The current price action. So let's see if we have any opportunity to take a trade on maybe boom 1,000. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to be pushing it to the downside, but you needed to see this one the this line we want to see this one very close to this level okay before we start thinking of what to do so you can scap with this i'm just looking for any whether i will see any scapping opportunity um uh, right here just trying to see if we can get any scapping opportunity so i will show you also the scapping aspects Ooh. All right, this one is already pushing to the upside i don't like jumping into a trade so you still have to wait for the black line to come very close to level 20 before we enter this trade so guys you have seen the setup everything is on point just try these things out i just you know those things these things are not that hard you just need to practice them okay all right guys because of the trend okay because of the trend you see that is a massive downtrend you can just pick one spike and you close your trade or you you know wait for maybe two or more spikes okay but because the trend you are not going to be staying for a very long time because you know that the trend is against the spike okay so you are not just going to wait and keep waiting and waiting and waiting for uh you can see our entry is still there okay still the same account okay so um you might not actually keep waiting and waiting and waiting till the um you know uh spikes keep coming okay just pick one spike or two and go okay when the price is again when the the trend is down okay on boom like what we have here okay the trend is down 
you can see it's a massive downtrend so you are not going to be waiting for a very long time if you zoom out completely you are going to also see that the trend is down okay so that's the reason why you're not going to keep waiting for the spike to keep coming because the trend is down okay but if it's a downtrend and you're on crash if it's a downtrend and you're on crash then you hold on to, on to the trade and you know keep you know pushing it to the downside but now the trend is against spike so we are not going to be staying for a very long time okay so that's that for this video i hope you enjoyed this okay uh i hope you enjoyed this and i will see you guys in the next one enjoy remember always always make sure that the price converts at overbought or oversold region before you sell on one minute time frame okay this is one minute time frame strategies guys i will see you guys in the next one don't forget to share subscribe and also like this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye for now guys enjoy